Scott from Peter. He writes, I currently have two SATA connections on my motherboard, but I need to add additional drives. They need to be internal drives as they use Carbonite and it only backs up internal drive data. I've seen PCI SATA cards and I'm wondering, one, will these work? Some cards are four SATA ports internal, but does the operating system and therefore Carbonite see them as internal? Two, will this affect my power supply or cooling ventilation much? Or not really, as generally only one drive will be in use at a time. Signed, Peter. Well, I would think with any internal card, if you're <laughs> using a PCI or PCI Express slot, every time I've added one of those to add more drives from out of drive ports internally on the motherboard, I've had those perform just as if I were plugging it into a motherboard, as right. if it were using a chipset built on the motherboard. I don't, I don't really believe it matters. It, what are, as long is Carbonite's filtered? Do they know the difference between a SATA and an eSATA drive? Because they can get them like ignoring USB drives. See, I would think that eSATA should drive. be, it should appear just as an internal drive as well, because mm -hmm. usually those are hardwired from the outside into one of the eSATA ports or the SATA ports on the inside anyway. So. I'm just thinking, as long as you stick, stay away from the USB connected and FireWire connected drives, you should, Carbonite shouldn't have a problem. Yeah. Now, as far as power necessity and in terms of internal drives, depending on how many drives you're adding and what your PSU requirements are, uh, adding one drive I've never really had a problem with. And the adding newest four or five drives can create maybe, problems, especially it, in startup. Yeah. It'd be, it's yeah. It's not so much when they're running, but when they actually start spinning up a the disk. spike in power requirements. There. Yeah. If, if if your power supply is kind of on the thin side for your for your CPU and your GPU, you can create problems. But most of the time, the headroom from an addition a single drive uh, is 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 a pittance compared to the amount of heat coming off of your graphics card and your CPU. You. Oh, most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. And if you are going to cram a bunch more hard drives in there, just make sure you have some <laughs> adequate ventilation for that. It doesn't have to be a wind tunnel going through the case, but keep the air moving around a little bit. Just keep everything nice and cool. You might want to get a bigger case, a larger case. And that's the beauty, too, of adding new drives. They're, mm -hmm. They typically will run faster in terms of uh, data trans, trans uh, write and read speeds, mm -hmm. as well as slightly reduce power consumption, too. Every generation seems to get a little bit better on Are you that. saying one terabyte, one one terabyte drive is better than four 250 megabyte drives? Almost definitely. Yeah. 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 Almost Nowadays, always. But I, I actually have a stack of 250s. I'm thinking of raiding them together just to do something fun with. But I have plenty of power on my 850 watt power supply to deal with all that. Though. You have other projects <laughs> to be working I do. on. I've got tons of other stuff. <laughs>